Well, welcome back to my reviews. And today I'm going to do a uh, review on some dinky toys, some army vehicles. And this first one is number 622, the 10 ton army truck, they call it. Removable cover for the back. It's got 10, uh, 10 positions there for seated privates if you choose to put them in. Spare tire there. Now, the drawings for this model were dated uh, March 10th, 1953. And the launch date was in May 1954. And the funny thing about this model was all the drawings were in um, were bilingual. And all the measurements were in imperial and metric. There was also a notation on the drawings. For the number to be engraved on the base, and it was number 806. And there are no 800 block numbers in this series in Dinky Toys. French Dinky Toys have an 800 block series. So, kind of a mystery what they were up to with this one. The cab is the Foden. And it's uh, what Dinky referred to as the Type 2 cab. It's got those bars running across, which the Type 1 didn't. The truck's in the service green color. And it has uh, armored core flashes on it, decals. also listed here on the base as a super toy but it, it doesn't have the super toy wheels it just has the regular uh, type dinky wheels dinky super toys 10 ton army truck made in England by Meccano Limited and number 622 right there Got a tow hook here. Now the driver figure was added in late 1954 and it was a, became part of the super toy line in uh, 1956. Also got the the old box for this model. I bought this at a toy show many years ago, and the uh, guy I got it from had bought it off some woman that had come into the toy show with a box of toys, and apparently some of these were from uh, Woodward's department store in uh, New Westminster near Vancouver. You see the price there. It was marked down from $1.50 to $0.75. Apparently she had worked at uh, Woodward's and had always put a few toys away for her sons or something like that and had hung on to quite a few of them and she brought them to the show and sold them. And I bought this one off my friend there. So. At the time it was quite an interesting story and uh, I met her. She was a very nice woman, probably in her early 60s, early to mid 60s at the time. 
so. Very nice. Very nice dinky toy, this one. We got windows in 1960, which was typical for most of them. And the model was deleted in 1963. But it's a pretty awesome truck. I mean, you could use it as a troop carrier, ammo carrier, um, tractor for towing guns and equipment. Would have been a neat one to have as a kid. Anyways, that's number 622, the 10 ton army truck also known as the 10-ton lorry. Now the next one I have here is number 626, military ambulance. And it's a three ton uh, calmer vehicle. A lot of these ambulances in, in real life use the uh, Ford Tem chassis, and Dinky chose the calmer. Which I think is very attractive for this model. Apparently there was about 5,000 of these chassis built between 1952 and 1953. They had what they called an E2 version, which is a rigid box fan carrying spares and what have you. The E3 version, which was the ambulances, and the E4, which would have been gun tractors. This model was announced on the rear cover of the September 1956 Meccano magazine. And it had a cast body with cast doors on the rear there. It had knobbly tires. And it was in service green. And it has a yellow and blue Royal Army service corps markings or flashes one on the rear too and even though these trucks were operated by the uh, Royal Army Medical Corps personnel they were maintained by the Royal Army Service Corps personnel. Now the main drawings in 1954, or dated 1954, show the driver in it. So it must have had a driver from day one, which some of them didn't. 1960 it got windows, and it was out of production by 1965. You see the red crosses are cast right into the model. It's got quite a weight to it with that cast uh, box too. But it's a very attractive model. Couldn't do without it on the battlefield. 
That's number 626, the military ambulance in the Dinky Toy Range. Here's one of my favorite Dinky Army toys, and it's the number 643 Army Water Tanker. I just like the detail on this model. I think it was really well done. This was one of the last of the Dinky Army toys from the 50s. And it was announced in the 1958 Meccano magazine. The drawings were developed in 1956. And it was a 20-month lead time, which was long even for dinky toys in those days. The driver was fitted from the start. The K9 WD was developed from the commercial Lodestar series of trucks from the early 1950s. It was a 4x4, four four, rated as one ton, and it used the Austin 4-liter, six-cylinder gas engine. And this same engine powered the Austin Shear Line and Princess Prestige saloons and limousines from 1949. The chassis was used for a one-ton 4x4 four four cargo with canvas cover ambulances, box van types, and a 200 gallon water tank. You can see the models in the service green. It has the blue and yellow Royal Army Service Corps flashes. One on the front, one on the back. Nice detail of the doors on the tank, the hatch, spare tire behind the cab. Fits right in there, fairly tight too. This model received windows in 1960 and it was deleted in 1964. That's number 643, the Army water tanker. Another one of my favorites in the Army series from Dinky Toys, number 623, Army Covered Wagon. Now this truck was used in World War II as a pretty well a general workhorse. It served with the British Army in Burma, throughout Europe and North Africa. It was based on the Bedford QLD general service cargo truck. It's fitted with a 3.5 liter gas engine with fixed four wheel drive. They use the chassis for uh, QLR radio trucks, QLB gun tractors, QLT troop transports and outside contractors made um, body work for tankers and articulated tractor units. 
Total production for this vehicle was 52,250 from 1941 to 1945. The drawings for this model were produced uh, in 1952 and 53, first shown in March 1954 in Meccano magazine. The, mo the, driver, the driver was added to the model in late 1954, and tires were changed from the plain rubber tires to treaded in 1960. Came in service green with uh, Royal Armored Corps flashes, removable cover on the back, tow hook, and an attractive little model. Well, this one never had windows. It was deleted in 1963. This model here is number 641, the Army one ton cargo truck. This one was actually built by Humber for the Army and wasn't, wasn't a civilian uh, model that was used by the Army. There were 3,700 of them built in 1952 and 53. Most were fitted with the cargo truck body, although some were fitted with uh, rigid van backs and a few with armored bodies. The power plant for this truck was a Rolls-Royce uh, B60 six-cylinder gas engine with 4,259 cc's. 98 British horsepower. Had a five speed gearbox and transfer case for two or four wheel drive. Nice little model. In August 1954, the, this model was introduced in the Meccano magazine and announced as having a lift-off rear hood and a driver figure fitted. This is actually the first time um, a driver was fitted at the launch of a model in this series. Came in service green with Royal Armored Corps decals. And it didn't have a tow hook, which is unfortunate, I think. Had four holes in the back seats, so you could fit the uh, seated soldiers. And per usual, the windows were fitted in 1960. And the model was deleted in 1962. That's number 641, the Army one-ton truck.
here's a nice one. This is number 689, the medium artillery tractor. This was a this was actually in real life a Leyland Martian. And it was powered by a 6.5 liter Rolls-Royce engine transmitting power to the four rear wheels or all six wheels. This chassis was also used for cargo trucks recovery vehicles. Had a large cab and held a crew of 12. And a rear compartment for carrying ammunition and that left no need for pulling a limber. This truck could carry up to four and a half tons of ammo and spares. This model is a super toy and it was announced in the Meccano magazine in November 1957. Had a cast ammo load in the rear Two spare tires fit in those slots. Driver was fitted from the start. Got a spot down there for a seated private. Got some shells standing there. Nice looking vehicle that one. It's got the Royal Artillery flashes on it. One on the front. One on the rear. Dinky Super Toys, medium artillery tractor, made in England, Meccano Limited, and number 689. Got the tow hook. This one also came in a gift set, number 695, with the uh, 7.2 inch howitzer. And that set ran from 1962 until 1966. The artillery tractor got windows in 1960. And it was deleted in 1966. Very This one here is the uh, 7.2 inch howitzer, number 693 in the series. During the war in 1941, some of the 8 inch howitzers were fitted with a new liner and changed to 7.2 inch caliber. Some of the problems uh, with this uh, these hybrids were the two-wheeled carriage that the gun was on.
fired a 200 pound shell at 1700 feet per second so the recoil was pretty powerful and the two wheeled carriage couldn't absorb it so this made the movement of the gun pretty unpredictable and dangerous so they took carriages for the 155 millimeter guns and retrofitted them to the 7.2 inch guns and then the four four wheel carriage became standard equipment for this gun too I'll show you some uh, pictures of the tractor and the gun together. That's number 693, the 7.2 inch howitzer. Here's a nice one, number 661, the recovery tractor. A nice heavy model that. Based on the 10 ton Scammell Explorer, which was the mainstay of the British Army for many years. The basic design was laid out in uh, the 1920s and developed into the 1950s. This vehicle here would have been powered by the 10 liter Meadows six cylinder diesel, driving a six speed gearbox and a two speed transfer case. This vehicle with and without the lifting crane was supplied to the Army and the RAF. Plans for this model were drawn in late 1954 and they were featured in the June 1957 Meccano magazine. It was in service screen, introduced with a driver, a hand operated crane, there's the crank there, it has the blue yellow and red decals on it for the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers or Remy's. This one could rescue pretty well any vehicle Dinky had in the series. cam there that locks the uh, winch in. Pull out the slack you need. Wind it in. I usually hook it under that mud flap there. Oh, 
wind it up till it's fairly tight so you don't break the string and lock the cam in place. Pretty impressive model, I love this one. That's number 661, the recovery tractor. So that's a look at some of the Dinky uh, Army series. I have more. I might do another video after a while. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed looking at these models and uh, talking about them. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.